quartile class, our third quartile class. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down through the cumulative frequencies and we find the first cumulative frequency that exceeds our key, exceeds 48, and the first one that exceeds it is this 55. So this class here, this class here is the quartile class. It is the third quartile class, which means that 52 is its lower bound, small f of q is 13, and capital F of Q minus 1 is the cumulative frequency of the class before it is 42. So our values are 13 and 42. And the width of the class is equal to 26. So what do we end up with? Well, let's do it. Okay, let's do the calculation here. Okay, I'm just going to just cross this over here, this page, fold this page over and do our calculation. So what we end up with is this, is we end up with that Q3 is equal to the lower bound of that particular class. Okay, the lower bound is 52. Okay, plus sigma f over 2, sorry, sigma, 3 times sigma f over 4, well, 3 times sigma f over 4 is equal to 48, so it's plus 48, minus the cumulative frequency of the class before it, which is 42, and that needs to be divided by the actual frequency of the class, which is equal to 13. Now, I do accept that I'm doing this very fast, but there is a video that actually does these calculations, okay? Uh, so we just want to get to a box and whiskers plot. We want to have our five statistics. So what's the answer? The answer is going to be 52 plus it's 48 minus 42. Uh, and that needs to be divided by 13. And that needs to be multiplied by 26, which gives us a value of 64. So Q3 is equal to 64. Okay? Our lower bound outliers, our lower bound outliers, okay? Well, to calculate our lower bound outliers, we need to have our interquartile range. So our interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So it's equal to 64 minus Q1. And we've already calculated what Q1 is. We've calculated Q1 to be 16.64. So it's 16.64. So it gives us a value of, well, we have 64 minus 16.64 gives us a value of approximately 47.5.4. So it's about 47.4 rounded to a single decimal place. So the position of lower bound outliers, uh, things, uh, observations that are classified as lower bound outliers are observations that are less than uh, Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Okay, So we know what Q1 is. Q1 is 16. 0.64 and that's minus 1.5 times 47.4 which gives us a value of in our case here we have 16.64 minus 1.5 times 47.4 gives us a value of approximately uh, approximately minus 54.5 okay the upper bound outliers okay our upper bound outliers our upper bound outliers okay are any values that are bigger than that are bigger than 1.5 times the interquartile range above q3 so our upper bound outliers are equal to q3 plus 1.5 times our interquartile range now we've already calculated q3 to be equal to 64 so it's 64 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range which we've calculated to be 47.4 47.4 so that gives us our upper bounds our upper bound outliers is going to be 64 plus 1.5 times 47.4 which gives us a value of approximately 125 125.1 okay so just to write down all of our statistics our median our first quartile our first Q our third Q our our lower bound outliers, our upper bound outliers are all going to be, well, let's have a look here. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay, so our median, our median is, we've, uh, we've identified that to be 26.7. Our first quartile, we've identified to be 16.64. Our third quartile, our third quartile we've identified to be 64. Our lower bound outliers are minus 54.5. And our upper bound outliers are at 125.1. Okay. So let's just keep that in mind. These are all of our important values now. And now we can actually construct our box and whiskers plot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that on the new page. Okay. The box and whiskers plot. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, is I'm just going to create a continuum. Okay. I'm going to create a continuum. 
uh, let's say I'm going to go from mm -mm, let me just think here minus 54 and the maximum value is about 175 in our data set okay let me just keep an eye on that so the maximum value in our data set is 175 so I'm gonna go to let's say 2075 so let, let's just do it for across 30 here okay so I'm gonna go from here all the way up here to 30 okay uh, and I'm just gonna say let's say for argument's sake I'll just start off let's say this is this is zero here okay this is zero that means that this is 50 okay that means that this is a hundred okay that means that this value here is 150 and this value here is 200 okay is 200 and we could continue on which means that this value down here okay is minus 50 and so on and so forth so let's just keep that in mind that's our scale all of our observations we know it's got to do with the number of facebook friends so you either have zero or more so all of our observations are on this side so but what we're going to do is this is we're going to just mark off all of our particular values okay so we're just going to mark off our median value is at 36.7 okay that's about three three that's that's at 36.7 so that's in between three and four